Okay, in this video we are going to talk about the blade templating engine and what the blade templating engine is is it's basically a syntax that we can use inside of our views to make it more readable and easier to display our data. So if we go back to our example application, last video we created a file inside of resources views and mypage.php and this was just a simple page that displayed some HTML and had a, a loop that went through each of our customers. So let's go back to our app HTTP routes and we will figure out which route that this directs to. So if we go to route get my page, so if we go to my page it is going to render this view right here. So let's go ahead and just do that as a quick refresher and you can see that we have each of our customers displayed on the page. So if we go back to this view you can see that we have a for each statement in here and we have our HTML. Uh, we could actually make this a lot cleaner by leveraging the blade templating engine. And to do that, it is very simple. We can just rename our file from .php to .blade.php. So once we do that, now we can use the blade templating engine inside of our inside of our page. So let me just show you an example of this real quick. So instead of this question mark PHP for each, uh, you see all these uh, open tags and close tags, it just gets really messy. Uh, instead, what if we just do for each, so we have an at symbol for each, customers as customer, and then the end for each, just the same thing, the at symbol and end for each. And then behind the scenes, Blade Templating Engine is taking all this stuff, parsing it, and then actually displaying the correct uh, opening and closing tags. But using the Blade Templating Engine, we have this beautiful syntax, and our page looks a lot cleaner, uh, easier to manage, easier to read. And instead of echoing out this customer name, we could simply do a curly bracket, curly bracket, and the same on this side we'll need to close that so you can see how much cleaner this is than the previous syntax let's go ahead and save that and reload our page and sure enough we get the same output because it's the exact same code that's running it just looks a lot cleaner and just as another example I will show you an if statement so instead of saying if and we're just gonna say if true and echo PHP echo hello and then we'll need to end our if statement. So we can save that if we reload, then sure enough it's true, so it's gonna print out that hello message. If it's false, then it is not going to. So let's make this look quite a bit cleaner with the blade syntax. So I could say at if true, and instead of this echo command right here, we could just use the curly braces, and then we do the same thing right here at end if. And look at how much cleaner that is. And it will do the it will output the exact same code if we reload true. If we set it to false, then obviously that is not going to output. So you can check out all, a lot of the syntax from the Laravel docs. Uh, Blade is very simple to use. And I'll just go over a few more things here that makes Blade super great and very easy to use. So another thing is including master files, or you could look at them as kind of includes. But a master file is basically, let's say that we want our header and our footer to be in one file. And possibly we want to also have like a nav bar that's always at the top. Uh, we could put that inside of our master file and then the content inside of that will be displayed in the page. Let me go ahead and show you real quick. Let me copy this and then it will create a new file, paste that in, close this body in HTML. And I will save this as master.blade.php. And this is going to be our master file. And let's say that we also maybe wanted a header. I'm just going to put some inline style here just to show an example of this real quick. Width of 100%, height, let's do 60. Let's do a background, dark gray, display block, and let's close that. So this is kind of going to look like our nav right here. And one last thing that we want to do is we want to yield our content. So where do we want this, uh, where do we want our data to be displayed? And let's display it right below this nav block. So what I will do is I will use the blade syntax and I'll say yield. And I'll just call this main content. 
and you can call this whatever you want it just that you have to reference it in the other file let me show you what I mean by that so we can remove this as well and what I want to do is I want to extend the master file and then this section is going to be main content and then I will stop that section and so if I save this then I should it will render this page it'll say my page it'll have this nav bar and then it will display our content from here so let me save that and see if everything went through it did not and I need to spell extends correctly okay so now you can see that we have our nav bar and then we have the content right here and this just makes it so great because then we could change something inside of our master file and then it will automatically change in all the other files that extend this master file so you could use the the for each the if statements all this blade syntax to make your views look a lot prettier a lot easier to manage again I will add a link to the Laravel docs where you can read up more about all the great things that Blade has to offer, uh, but I just wanted to give a quick run through of how powerful and cool it is to use the Blade templating engine.